All right, the regression. I want you to see it this way. This is a gift to yourself. The most best gift you can give, and that's information. Information about you. And I can't do that for you. I can help you create a safe environment. We've done that because we put a protective energy around this room. So you're safe. Your unconscious will not give you an experience that you are not ready for. Your unconscious will not give you an experience that you're not ready for. All right? Um, there's two people who can't do regressions or have a lot of trouble doing it. So if you're one of these, raise your hands and I'll slap you. Uh, <laughs> one is of those people that are... So you have to ask yourself, why do they have to have control? Usually it's a childhood that was trouble, and they're afraid if they don't have control, they're going to step back into that trouble. So people that have to have, need control are afraid to do regressions because they got to let go of the right brain, and they're afraid of that. Okay. Uh, the second people that have trouble with this are people who believe, which you do not, that there are things to fear in this universe. Okay. So remember, Seth says, Einstein said it too, the most important question is, is the universe friendly? Seth says, it's friendly unless you do believe that it is not. So do not... Oh, okay. So, so, <laughs> One is you need control, the second one is you fear. Okay. Okay. All right, so um, this visualization will be fairly simple. I'll try to slow down. I've gotten some advice to slow down. If I'm going too fast, it's Feitchi's fault. <laughs> um, and, and I'll tell you exactly what we're going to do. Talk to him. Okay. Uh, I will ask you to visualize being out into a beautiful field. I want you to hear the crickets. I want you to hear the birds. I want you to feel the sun on your skin. I want you to hear the wind blowing through the grass and the leaves. I'm getting chills. So nice. And then I'm going to have you find a path in that field. And you're going to... And you will feel the stones under your feet as you walk down the path. The path will lead to a stream, and you'll hear the water gurgling in the stream. How am I doing? Oh, good. Okay. And, uh, and then we're going to follow upstream on the path. And you will see a bridge. Okay. And you will be really curious about what's on the other side of the bridge. And your curiosity will cause you to step onto the bridge. And then you're going to notice something unusual. You can't see the other side. Because there's fog. And you're going to start across the bridge. Feel the bridge under your feet. And when you're halfway across, the fog will clear. You will continue until you step off the bridge. And when you step off, I'm going to ask you, What are you wearing on your feet? Help me that it not be what you came here with today. Because that's when the past life starts. Mm -hmm. If you allow that to happen, it will. 
Then we're going to talk about what you're wearing. What the hair is like. You will feel the body. Okay. I'll ask you questions. Male or female, old or young, how does the body feel? Is it sick? And then allow your vision to expand into where you are. Now, the past life. Okay, this is real simple, but it happens all the time. And then we'll try to find out what's the drama in that life. There's a reason why that life came. Remember, the past, that life is an answer to the question you've asked. So, at the beginning, ask the question that you have answered. Okay, so we'll go, we'll go through the life. When very important, we're going to go to the death. Okay. Now the here's the, here's the tricky part. So you're going to see the soul depart the body. At that point, and this will help us later today. And if you don't get it, don't don't worry about it. But what I want to do optimally is for you to see your guide. Okay. Each of us have non-physical beings. If they're angels, for you're fine. Non-physical beings that help us through our life when we ask for help. Got it. And uh, the advantage is sometimes guides are friends from past lives that have agreed to stay non-physical to help you through yours, and then you do that for them. Okay? The advantage is they know everything about you. They know all your past lives. They know why you picked this life, what your challenges are. And so if you can see your guide, we'll try to get a name. Let's we'll say, what should, we, what should I call you? Uh, we're going to ask, what was the lesson to be learned in this life? Was it learned? And why did this life come up for me today? Now, it may be obvious, but if it isn't, the guide may give you information. Because then in the afternoon, when we do the next regression, we're going to try to do three lives. And see, what happens with the guide is, as soon as we're done with that life, we're going to say, will you take me to the next life? And you can take the guide by the hand, and the guide will take you. Okay. And just like that, you're in the next so, life. Well, there's there is no reason why you cannot cannot do this. Okay. Now, for those of you who just get bits and pieces, that's good. That's fine. Because then this afternoon you're going to get more. So whatever you get, allow yourself to get it. Don't judge yourself. Questions? This is way too clear. You're doing too good a job. Okay, so... Uh, hmm. oh, it's already 10 after. Okay. Um, uh, it's up to them. I'd turn it off. Yeah, I would turn it off. This afternoon, we don't have time for it now, I'm going to give you, uh, we'll do a visualization, we'll start out with a visualization, um, and we'll build a box. Now, if you can imagine a box, I won't do it now, but if you can imagine a box, if you have a left brain idea, the women won't have trouble with this, if you have a left brain idea that's saying, is this real? What's happening? Isn't it going to happen? I don't know. I wonder. Take those ideas and throw them in the box. <laughs> if you have a pain or discomfort, throw it in the box. Yeah. Fears or worries, throw them in the box. Okay? It's really a nice technique. I learned that at the Monroe Institute. It does that every time. Works very well. Uh, we'll build one this afternoon, but if you can imagine a box, go ahead and just do it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.